This segment is sponsored by the Richmond Sentinel, providing news, entertainment, and human interest stories in print and online. Jennifer Robertson, she's a Canadian actress, writer, and comedian. Um, most of you have seen her face as a starring role as Jocelyn Shit in the CBC Emmy Award-winning sitcom Shit's Creek uh, that had six amazing award-winning seasons. Uh, she was nominated for two Screen Actors Guild Awards, winning one and four Canadian Screen Awards. We are so excited to welcome, finally, I know, we Jennifer did Robertson to our city tonight. Thank you. Thanks yeah. for having me. Oh, we're so glad. Well, my our mutual good friend, yes. Jessica, we'll have to do a shout out to. She's been talking. She said, you got to get Jennifer on the show. So I've been pursuing you, stalking you. Not, for in, the, not in an uncomfortable way. It was, a, it was a friendly, very business-like stalking. Okay. Yeah. Good. Good yeah. to know. But I'm so glad. Finally, and you've got so many other things. I, I mentioned Shit's Creek, but we'll talk a little bit about that, of course. We have to. Mm -hmm. But Ginny and Georgia, oh mm. my god, this is a huge series. Um, two great seasons. I just binged the second season that dropped, and okay. um, uh, some great reviews. Tell us a little bit about this show. Your character, Ellen, she's so amazing. Ellen, Ellen's the light. The light in a mostly dark situations, I think. She kind of pops in and tends to bring a little levity to some, you know, it's a heavy show, especially yes. season two. Yes. There's a lot of heavy subject matter. Um, the show took that very seriously. They did not write those storylines flippantly or lightly. They consulted with psychiatrists. Like, they really did their research, which I think is maybe why some of those storylines are really meaning a lot to especially the young audience. Mm -hmm. And it's not just the young audience, that's the thing. Mm -hmm. That It is a YA show, but it's found a home all over the place. So, yeah. They, yeah. they do deal really well with mental health, yeah. and um, there's a lot of a lot of warnings on the screen uh -huh. that come up when they're watching, but they do deal with it in a great way. I was saying to you earlier that, you know, when Jessica said, you need to watch this, it's a great show. You know, Jennifer's starring in it. I thought it was just a teen thing, but it's hmm. not. It is completely for everyone. It's well written, well acted, and um, I, fingers crossed for a third season. We're I waiting. Know. Netflix, Netflix. Well, give them a minute. <laughs> give them a minute. I feel, you know, everyone says they feel very positive, so we'll see. You don't know. We made audiences wait for so long between the first and second season. I mean, yes. this is the length of my hair. So when we shot that, my hair was this short. So you can just tell how long it's been. Because you have to do the show, then you have to edit the show. And then with Netflix, you have to put the show into, I don't know, a hundred and something languages. So yeah. the process of shooting it to getting it on the screen, and then everybody watches it in 48 hours. And they're like, when's the next one? And you're like, I give it a second. And then the second, we have to write it. First, we have to write it. And then, so we'll see. Hopefully, we'll get a season three. Yeah. yeah. I, I have to laugh, because you're speaking of hair. And yeah. you talk about, you know, you had to tease the crap out of your hair for Schitt's Creek, uh -huh. and you ended up wearing wigs. Did yeah. you know on Poshmark, you can buy two-for-one Roland and Jocelyn Schitt wigs? Stop. <laughs> There, there's, there's a little point. That's fun for Halloween, that is for fun costumes. For Halloween. I actually yeah. have, I didn't, they offered me the wig. When I finished, I was like, I'm not sure what I would do with this. And people were like, you can get a case and then you'll put it on thing. I go, that feels very creepy. And if I'm dating, I feel like that would be a red flag for anyone coming into my home that I would have the Jocelyn wig on a stand under a spotlight. With the tiara. With the tiara. Yeah. And so I didn't have it initially, but then we did something for the, um, for Barack and Michelle Obama for grads in the first year of the pandemic. We did this online song with Mariah Carey, which was all very surreal and wild. And we were doing it in characters, so they FedExed me the wig. A famous wig. But now the wig has to stay in a cupboard because my dog barks at it every time I take it out. So... It's killing me. I don't blame her. It's kind of weird. She's like, what is that? I'm going to go back a little bit. You're <laughs> yeah. born in Canada. Were you born in Vancouver? I was born in Calgary. Okay, in Calgary. Lived but... in Salt Spring for a while. Raised in Vancouver, though, right? And then right. moved to Burnaby when I was oh. eight. Okay, perfect. So, yeah. Now, and you come from comedy. You're, you're both, yeah. your, your, your dad and your stepmom yep. were the double exposure, they CBC, were. wonderful comedy yeah, team. Yeah, they That's, were. So, did, was it funny in your house all the time? He, that's, everybody asks that. Not particularly. I mean, my dad was a funny guy for sure but i think you get home and you don't do bits it's not like every meal we'd be like please i'm trying to eat dad stop with the jokes <laughs> and my mother conversely maybe why they didn't stay married she thinks this is a theory anyways is the most serious woman mm. ever so 
there was a there was a balance of like very funny dad and my mom would listen to the show and go I don't know why we're laughing what am I listening to okay. why is this so I had a little bit of both at home okay she's lightened up over the last few years that's good she likes a good joke now good yeah. good speaking of jokes so the subtle humor I have to bring up in Schitt's Creek was that something you know because you came from comedy shows mm. um like ah the sour has 22 minutes yeah. a little bit more in your face comedy was it something you had to sort of tackle and deal with with well, Eugene they definitely, and... you know, when we started working and rehearsing, we had a little bit of rehearsal time before we started shooting. It was definitely the note was, you don't have to make it bigger. We want, they wanted the characters to, you know, and then everybody kind of found their characters and we all had our little things. Like apparently I do like a shoulder thing. Oh my God, you took it you do And I don't, yeah. Oh, I don't we know. were doing that earlier. Yeah. <laughs> And that was not just sort of, sort of a thing when I'm in the Jocelyn body that kind of happens to me. So, but it was, it was the intention. It wasn't, it's not a multicam. So that was the intention. They're like, don't dial it up like you would in a sketch or in a multicam. This, they wanted it to be as grounded as those characters can be. Cool. Yeah. Mm, kind of one of my last questions, I guess, yeah. is what was it like to be working with Eugene Levy and Catherine O'Hara? Just... Yeah. It was remarkable. Yeah. It was, uh, I mean, every day with the whole cast, but especially with them, everybody knows them. They're legends and mm -hmm. um, they were incredibly professional. Always knew their lines. You know, as actors, as you go through playing smaller roles, you see sometimes, unfortunately, big actors that don't seem to care or don't pay attention to detail, but they absolutely, every detail was tended to and it was so great to watch and be in scenes with them and Catherine and I I think in season three got to spend more time together and I loved every minute loved it oh, that's wonderful yeah no uh, I almost forgot to mention yeah. you uh, kind of a groundbreaking you were in the first um, queer rom-com that Netflix put out for a Christmas movie yeah. and you worked with the wonderful crazy love her Jennifer Cooley I did I did it was such a cool, I was sort of in early, so I would find out like every week who another great actor, so Kathy Najimy plays my mom, yeah. not old enough to play my mom, but yeah. anyways, Odd. she's amazing and was so fun, and Michael Yuri was my brother, like every week I'd be like, new cast member added, amazing people, middle of the pandemic, we were shooting in a house in Montreal, wow. and Montreal had, they had great safety record, but they had the strictest like COVID, protocols and so the minute the scene would wrap up we'd all have to scatter so that we were no longer like in whatever and there was a little woman Marie Claire who had a meter stick and she would literally be measuring and she'd be too close and then we'd have to like go and like the guy who plays my husband in the movie wasn't in my circle so you'll never see us like standing closer than 20 feet oh, to each other. And he's like, I think we're getting divorced if there's a sequel. I said, it's not looking good. Because I don't even stand near you. No, yeah. that show is called Single All the Single Way. Single All the Way. And you can still catch it on Netflix. I'm sure can. Yes, yes, yes. And um, lastly, um, I'm just hoping for another season of Ginny and Georgia. You've got some other secret stuff that you don't want to share with I us I do yet. have so, secret stuff yeah, I can. We'll have to have you back. Okay. So darn. I can talk huh? about I mean, I'll come back. Yeah. It's very hospitable. Yeah. Oh, well, wonderful. Wine. Wine, absolutely included. And so great. So Jennifer Robertson, uh, Canadian actress, award-winning actress, I have to say. Um, again, catch her in Ginny and Georgia if you haven't already. Season two just dropped. You can binge that. You can. Yeah. Go for it. Wonderful. Thank you. Finally. For being, oh, I, now oh. I got to go get my wine. There, there we go. got my wine. did it. <laughs> this segment was sponsored by the Richmond Sentinel providing news, entertainment, and human interest stories in print and online.